Hello, Volo. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Didn't you see the tentacled ship? It was an illithid invasion force. The goblins were being controlled. Ye gods! Can it be? How terribly compelling. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Neither. It was a gold dragon, scales glittering and wings gleaming. A Gold dragon! How marvellous! Thank heaven you were here to specify, or I might have recorded a bold-faced lie. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Quite so, quite so. They sang the phrase like a battle hymn. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglabiot, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Dramatic. How has Maglubiot responded? Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket until we meet again.